Kalpak has betrayed the God of Babylon. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. This man is full of lies and deceit and treachery. Throw him out of the court. He's planning a conspiracy. Get out of here, you curse. I will leave, O Grand Vizier. But I'll leave after I reveal Harpak's treachery to the god of Babylon. The secret of that green forest. I swear by the gods of Babylon that I will kill you. Take him away! Oh, great Nimrod, kill me, but let me reveal the secret already! Kill me! Let him go! Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. He's crazy. His heart is filled with the poison of revenge, and his secret is nothing but to taint the honor of the king. He's upset about Nimrod favoring Azar. On that evil day, I went to the forest for a walk. That's when I saw the great horse. Like the evergreen cypress behind the horse, I saw the First Lady of Babylon alone with this despicable man among the trees. And your wife betrayed you to avenge the murder of her father, Nimrod. She wanted to overthrow you from the throne with the help of Harpak. She betrayed you, Nimrod. Don't have mercy on them. Don't have mercy on them, Nimrod. Very well, Obeys. I heard you. Go. Go! This game. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm not playing this game. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm out. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> You'll finish it. You will finish this game, Harpak. Obeys revealed our secret. If you do not do what you've promised me to do. <laughs> I will use my female powers to convince Nimrod to kill you. My sword! You wanted to take revenge for your father and clan. Here! Take this sword! Kill me. Take it! Kill me! Nimrod, forgive me. I can still be of use. Babylon obeys you because I've subjugated its people with my wisdom and intelligence. My death will shake the cornerstone of your rule. Don't kill me. I beg you. I beg you. I'll forgive you only because Babylon still needs you. Go and change your clothes, you devil. You're still a vizier. Forgive me. Get up. Get up. Oh, God of gods. If I were you, I would not have mercy on Obeys. We're going to the ceremony. Aren't you coming with us? 
Sarah is with us too. No, I'm sick. Mm-hmm. Lot, you should go. Uh, but... It is God's will. It's in your interest. You should go. لكم أسوة حسنة في إبراهيم والذين معه إذ قالوا لقومهم إن براء منكم ومما تعبدون من دون الله Second only to the gods of gods, Nimrod himself, you, you. <laughs> Why do you believe that I was the one who destroyed the gods? There was only one person who didn't leave the city for the rituals. It was you. This is Abraham, the nephew of Azar, the idol sculptor. Babylonians have seen it too. This axe is your axe, Abraham. Give me the axe. May the hands of the one who defames himself be cut off, even if he's a member of Azar's family. I heard from Azar that Babylonians had discovered the Nax hanging on the shoulder of their greatest idol. Do you not think the great idol was responsible for smashing the rest? Hmm? <laughs> Ask it what happened to the rest. Come on now. Everyone knows that the gods aren't able to speak. They know they can't move either. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know that you worship gods that aren't able to speak. And you cling on to these gods that bring no benefit or harm to this land and its people, you know that? This is all while you've rejected the existence of the one and only god which controls any benefit or harm. Shame on you and the things you worship. So it's true then, your claim of prophecy, Abraham. Yes. Oh. That's enough!
Fire Puck. Designate the following punishment for this prophet's wrongdoing. Prepare a great wall of fire with flames reaching to the skies and burn him in the flames. Yes, O great Nimrod. Everyone from Babylon will take part in the burning ceremony. Everyone! Obese, it's me, the one you defeated. Azar, you won this battle. I'll sell my workshop. You don't have a rival. <laughs> Anymore, they'll burn the main asset of my life. No intervention will be of use. <laughs> I've fallen out of favor with Nimrod. It's now your turn to take the lead. Take the lead. Take it. <laughs> take the lead. Abraham, where is this god of yours to save you from this perilous situation? Where? I am Abraham, the messenger of the one and only god. Anything that you worship which is not the one and only god is an object, a mass with no power which you have carved with your own hands. You should know that the gods that you worship will not provide you with your needs. Let go of them! Let go of these fake gods! Ask your creator to provide you with your necessities and worship the creator. Not the mere creation. Great Nimrod, the flames of the fire are so high. How are we supposed to throw this idol smasher in the fire? The catapult. The catapult. No! No, wait! I can tolerate being thrown in the flames. You said women are divine, O oh prophet. You honored mothers. Idols that aren't able to defend themselves from an axe aren't gods. I, Sarah, I worship the same god that you do. 
burn me with him because I have an axe too. This time I'll break Nimrod's idols. This time I'll be the one who'll destroy Nimrod's Sarah. temple. Come. No! No! is the Lord of the world. He did not beget, nor was he begotten. He gives life and can take it away. He is merciful and compassionate and generous. He is the one that gives life and takes it away. He controls life and death. By the God of the gods, prepare the two prisoners for execution. We're going to the prison. The desecrator of idols will come to you.
Unlock the chains. <clears throat> Release him. Release him. Unlock the chains. Protector and a god. I swear I've accepted your prophecy. Abraham, ask that I be forgiven. I have lived a lifetime in darkness. At the moment, a moment in light. You see, I took the one's life, and to the other, I gave a new life. Hmm? You tyrant. My god is the highest of all. The moon and the sun are under his command, you know. Every day, God makes the sun rise from the east. If you can, make the sun rise from the west tomorrow. Finish it. Leave Babylon. Babylon doesn't want you here. Get out! You're the god of the earth. Wage war with the god of the sky. Don't let him walk free in Babylon. We will go to the Tower of Babylon and wage war on Abraham's god. You're a clever man, Harpak. You were right. I thought a lot about what you said. You said you're one of the cornerstones of Nimrod's rule. Today, I came to the top of this tower to show Babylonians absolute power. I am going to throw my arrow up to the sky in order to defeat Abraham's god. And that's how I'm going to fortify my rule. The previous vizier wanted to overthrow me, and you were a young commander who discovered his betrayal. You became his successor. You deserved it. You were intelligent, but you didn't realize that you were also wrong. If I have mercy on you, I won't be Nimrod any longer. My master. What are you saying? Nimrod is the absolute power. He doesn't want a vizier. 
It's tall. Very tall. I mean the tower. How should Harpak say goodbye to his god? Master, forgive me. My god. No, forgive me. Oh, great Nimrod, forgive me. My master, no, no! Someone get over here! Those who repent, my dear friend. Uh, uh, tell your God that I'm Abraham's uncle. I raised him. Uh, tell him to forgive me. Tell Join him. Join us. Tell him I raised you. <laughs> Ask your God. Go. 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 Son. Go. Go. Abraham, and ask your God to forgive me. Babylon. 
Babylon has fallen. Nimrod is in the war with a petty little mosquito. My father and I are believers of your message. He was too shy to come and talk to you, and so he sent me. He sent over a kind one. I am ashamed to say this, but I will. Um, uh, um, uh, um, am I is a suitable husband for Sarah? I need a companion f for for my mission. I, uh, am I? You are. <laughs> of polytheism and migrate toward my god. Indeed, he is the almighty and wise. Abraham passed through Canaan and Egypt, and time passed him by. The pharaoh of Egypt gave Sarah a handmaiden called Hagar. Hagar was Sarah's handmaiden until Abraham entered Hebron and set up a home and a farm to live off of.